intensity, the hostility, the passion, the energy. It all continues with Game 5 tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. That's into the offensive zone. Martin's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Denies him! Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. With possession along the wall. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here's an offensive chance. The Fuel have possession along the boards. Lemos moves the puck. Receives the pass. Wheeling's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Shot! Here's a shot! And there's a glove save on the play. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Gains the zone from the right. Shot! Denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Nailers start with the puck in their own end. Sends a pass over. Indy's got the puck. Weeks has it and freezes the play. Wheeling's won the draw and they'll go to work. Fires one on goal. Indy's got possession of the puck. Knocks the puck loose and makes the save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Nailers take possession off the faceoff. Let's it go, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Baker's moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. And he takes the pass. With the blast! Not even close! And he works so hard to get to the middle of the ice and to get that scoring chance, and he just blows it wide. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now! And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Quick feed to Malone. Indy's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Baker. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes, he does that and makes the save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Lemos has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Cairns. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Indy's got it and they're on the attack. And that carries off a body in the lane. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Fuel have the puck against the boards. Picks up the puck. Lemos has it in the defensive end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. Poked away in the offensive zone by Martin. Hit on the play, and there's the whistle as it looks like the glass came loose, and I think it's broken here, Cheryl. Yeah, it looks like it's cracked, James. It always amazes me that the maintenance crew can come out here and make the change this quickly. And really, it's because the glass doesn't shatter, and they'll just replace the pane. Puck is dropped. 
and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Martel. Wheeling's in transition. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. And it's a quick pass to Bonds. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Gagne. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And a good save on the play as action continues. Moves it to Cairns. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Cameron's taking it from his own end. Moves it quickly over to Cairns. With authority. Indy's got the puck against the boards. Gets in front of him. The Nailers will play it in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the feed. Oh, the play. Wow. Oh, the true competitor is saved just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And Cheryl, listen to these thoughts here. They are killing lots. Some of them are getting on their feet here still, applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the complete the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. Indy's got a hold of it along the wall. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. There's the whistle, let's get the official decision. The fuel have been penalized for tripping. tonight at their power play unit. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Puck move back to the neutral zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And they send it right back to him. Reaches out and uses the stick. The Nailers moving ahead. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Nailers will play it from the defensive zone. Wheeling's got the puck along the wall. The Nailers fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Penalty coming up here. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game, and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. And a stiff break set up. And they send it down the ice. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Nailers have possession shorthanded. And manages to clear the zone. The Fuel have taken possession along the wall. Weak steals one with that incredible save, James. And his team knows it. You can see him buff out his chest. He's playing with a little bit of swagger now. And everyone in front of him knows that they got to energize. they got to elevate their game. And they manage to clear it. The Nailers' penalty killers come up huge. Coach won't be happy with that, James. Didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion and make adjustments based on what they're doing, and this power play unit didn't do any of it. He was totally locked in on that play. And he takes the feed. Slick feed. Redirected off a stick. Hammers one. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Hurry into our main store, as supplies are limited.
Tree. Still zeroes on the board as we are now underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Indy's had a great first period, and they've held the majority of the shots and the play in the offensive zone, but they haven't had any finish. They need to get... Well, it's a quick release shot, James, but it goes off of the inside of the post. Sometimes it redirects out. This time, it redirects in. Indy's finally got the game's first goal here in the second period, and it's not for a lack of trying. Yeah, they've played extremely well throughout this game so far, James. I mean, they've had multiple opportunities to score, and finally they get one. I think they can take a deep sigh of relief and get going. Quick feed to Drake. Sets a pass in front, and that's stopped. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Lemos wins possession off the draw. Solid check to slow him down. The fuel have the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The fuel have gained control of the puck along the wall. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Lemos plays it now. And he takes the feed. Puck battle along the boards. Taken along the wall by Beerling. Wheeling's gained possession along the boards. Here he is in close! Answers the call big time. What a stop by Weeks. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the hole, and makes a save. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Fearling's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Indy's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pat Sage, you gotta be better than that. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Nailers win the draw on their own end. And they get the puck out. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass to McDougal. He's off! And that doesn't reach the net. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't? It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Up along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Baker. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. More than half the period left to play. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Here's a short pass to Kanye. Denies him, he got all of it! Now a quick pass to Martel. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Moves to Lang. Great reach with the poke check. Taken by Baker. The Nailers gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Martel. The Fuel have control of the puck. Indies across the blue line. Shot! Oh, so good! What a stop! Now that's desperation. 
communication at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Oh, and he skips into the line of fire and blocks that. The Nailers played along the boards. Oh, denies them with the paddle save. Indy's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to Malone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Malone's exploring options with the puck. Wheeling's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come on the attack. Let's move to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Unloads the shot. And is it along the blue line. Lemos works the puck in his own zone. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And he slides it quickly to Cairns. Lemos has the puck against the half wall. Takes a shot. They score! And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. We get to the shot off in the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the plane. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Fuel have to be feeling good about their game here. We're already in the second period. They've extended the lead to two, and they don't really show any signs of slowing down. No, I mean, I'm surprised that it's only two here, James, the way they've been peppering the goalie. And you can see how the coach is so happy, thrilled, really, with their performance. It's been a consistent effort right through the entire lineup. Moves it to the offensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to put that one up and put it in the back of the net. Indy's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight, especially what they've been doing in the offensive zone. Yeah, why would you slow down when you can pad your stats? I mean, they've been all over the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun out there and there's been a wave right through the bench. Wheeling's won the draw in the neutral zone. Nichols gonna play it against the half wall. Too many bodies in the way. Cameron's lugging the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and he lives on it. And that's intercepted by Nichol. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot, and he gets just enough to keep it out. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Indy's got it in their own zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Intercepts the pass. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. And somehow he hangs on. The Nailers cross the blue line and are on the attack. Snapper from the slot. Grabs the puck. Quick shot. Scores. And they finish it on the rebound. What a goal. Oh, is he ever dialed in on that one, James? He's fallen to the ice and still shows his skill set and his puck pursuit as he's a shot off while he's falling and he executes and everyone is going nuts they know what he just did that's an effort play the nailers have finally shown a counter attack and let's see if they can build on this now one goal can change the psyche in a game you can see them pressing as they head into the third period and off the draw they take the puck the nailers played along the wing and a good use of the body to knock the puck loose and it's kicked away Hatfield's lugging the puck. And he loses control here. Goalie makes the save. Weeks has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. 
But his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Malone's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. right back to work. Hillis has won the draw inside his own end. They clear the zone. And now it's grabbed by Lee. Moves the puck along the half wall. Back to the blue line. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Indy's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Across the line. Center of feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the official's decision. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two-minute minor. Power play unit going back to work. When the power play isn't working, you have to adjust. You got to get net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And what it does is it also draws defensive coverage to you. More traffic in front, more lanes open for the shooter. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Gagne. Takes a shot, turned aside by the goaltender. And they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Here we go. A lengthy five-on-three power play looms. What an opportunity. A long five-on-three here. And this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Weeks makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Hillis slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Nailers win the draw. Slides the puck over. Takes a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Stupendous blocker saved by Weeks. And he slides it quickly to Martel. What a steal in his own end. They move the puck out of harm's way. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Nailers have it now. Lang standing up, ready to go. And there's the save. The Nailers fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Protecting the lead late in the game, finding a way to get it done. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Just keep it simple and stick with the lead. Great read with the stick. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Fires it on net. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Nailers are being called for tripping. Indy's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. 
They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it and look for different adjustments to be made. Here's a chance to set up now. It's Result of the faceoff. I mean, winning possession right away, knowing exactly where that puck is going to go, reading the coverage perfectly for that goal. The fuel have continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The nail is taken along the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Moves it over to Beerley. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Quick pass to Martin. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Intercepted the pass. Wheeling's got it against the boards. Scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Here's a pass down low. Tries to feed it over to McDougal. Wheeling's penalty killers get a hold of it. Trying to shake the defender. He's clear. Great back check on the play. Works it across to Hillis. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's another consecutive save. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Fearlings ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Wheeling's taking possession in their own end. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute, but didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Nasty hit along the wall. To his teammate, fires it. Oh, what a save in front. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back to back here they come i like that the shooter had the mentality just shoot it right away on the inside of the post just recognizing that there was enough of an opening and i think that the goaltender thought it was covered the fuel have shown no let up here in this third period continuing to accelerate forward when you look up at the scoreboard it's lopsided and for good reason james they dominated the play i mean it has been tilted in one direction in their favor they've known when to attack the net they've been so strong on the puck and you know that the coach is going to be thrilled with this one great save made it perfect picked up along the wall by lang cameron's got the puck in his own zone Dishes it to Kanye. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that one's turned aside. Penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just out of discipline, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. The Nailers win the draw. Puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. 
Malone's got it against the boards. Grabs the puck. Wheeling's got possession while undermanned. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Both sides back to even strength. And another save. Well, just been an average night on the PK, but you know how your numbers get better? You get one right there, and they did a good job to be able to kill that one off. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. Indy's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals.